Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again, depending on what part of the world you're in. My name is Anthony Daniels, and welcome to the 5 Minute Facebook Ministry. Today we're working on Philippians 4 and 6. It's Philippians 4 and 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Again, do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And this book was written by uh, Paul to the Philippines, and we they think it was written by Paul when he was in jail in Ephesians. So Paul is in jail, and he's writing a letter to the, to the Philipp Philippians, and he's saying, do not be anxious about anything. You know, and that's what we do today. Now, you imagine being in jail and you telling somebody not to worry about anything. Because if you're in jail, you would think that you would have a lot, that Paul would have a lot to worry about. But he says, do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, he defines it for us, in every situation. So whatever situation you're in, Paul is talking about your situation. In every situation, by prayer and petition. By prayer and petition. Now, prayer, your petition will be through prayer. That's why he says prayer and petition. When you petition, when you send a petition in, just when you, you send like a request, you can petition the government to do something. And you get people to sign up uh, for that, sign your petition. But you can have a petition with just your signature. So we petition God through prayer. By prayer and petition, we are going to take our situation to God. It says, with thanksgiving. Uh, we're asking for something, but he says with thanksgiving because we, we, we ask with expectation of the prayer being answered. So we can be thankful as we pray that God is going to get us through this situation. And that's powerful now. You, we, you know, we, that erases doubt. That erases uh, us looking at the worldview and truly trusting God and putting our situation in God's hands. It says, present your request to God. So th th this, is, this is the outline of how we're supposed to get through situations. Now, you know, in this day and age, there's a whole lot to worry about. And you can, you can uh, worry yourself to death. You know, there's people who got ulcers and all kind, of, all kind of sickness because they're so stressed out. Excuse me, from word. But he says, do not be anxious. Do not worry. Do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about the future. Don't even worry about today. But pray that God gives you your provision that you need today. And with thanksgiving, thank him for the provision for tomorrow. Thank him for the getting you out of that situation today. And thank him for keeping you out of that situation tomorrow. So regardless of what the situation is, God is with you already. God already knows what you need. I mean, that's why it says don't worry. God already knows what you need. Before you even pray, God has identified what your situation is and what you need to fix that situation. And God may already have that situation fixed for you. Now, you just got to pray and believe. You just have to pray and believe. And when, you know, when you, uh, when you pray to God with Thanksgiving, you know, we need to see the end from the beginning. You know, a lot of times we're so caught up in the situation of what's going on now, we can't even imagine what the end is. But the end is victory in Christ. So we have to see and know the end from the beginning. And that's like the way we live our lives. And, and this, from, from the day we we're born till the end, we need to see that at the end of our life, we die and go to sleep, and then, and then God wakes us, and we spend eternity with him. So if we live knowing that that is our end, that we're going to die and go to sleep, and that God is going to wake us up, and we're going to spend eternity with him, then all this other stuff doesn't really matter. All this other stuff doesn't really matter. What we're trying to do is get to the point so that when we die, we're where we need to be with God. And we can get rid of all that word, all that concern. 
I'm trying to save it for tomorrow because to tomorrow is with God. The tomorrow we have here is, is nothing. And the speck of time that it takes for our lifetime to go through through eternity, to go for us to go through a lifetime, oh, me. it's nothing compared to eternity. So let's live our life today knowing what our end is so that we don't have to be tied up with worries and concerns of today because we're living for our end and our beginning with Christ, which once that beginning begins, that is the end. Eternity with God is our end. It's the end of our word. It's the end of our concern. That's the end of bills. That's the end of you know people talking about you. That's the end of people lying to you. That's the end of you fighting temptation. That's the end. It's done. We're with Jesus for eternity. And that's what we have to live for. Forget about war in the day. We're going to have current concern if we have things that we have to take care of. Pray and petition to God. Trust and believe in it. And see the end from the beginning, from your now. That's all the time that I have. God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great night.